Hey you guys, it's me, Lubna Hussam. I am your makeup artist, not your, I'm a makeup artist. Anywho, it's my first video, so please go easy on me. And I really wanted to film a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to get to go to my friend's engagement. And I really wanted to glam up, you know, just, ah, uh, I love glamming up and I love going to you know events and parties because my life is empty <laughs> okay no no i'm serious no all jokes aside um let's film and get ready with me my lighting is really bit it's kind of weird i still haven't set everything yet uh i might be looking in the viewfinder every few minutes not a lot i know it's annoying but i am um I'll be checking to see if you can see me. Am I in focus? Is this good? Is this not good? Anywho, so let's film a get ready with me. Yay! Let me just zoom in, you guys. Is this a okay? My face. Please excuse my like weird eyebrows. I guess this is about it. All right. Let's start with my facial routine. It's just some eye cream. Where is my kit? I haven't even opened my kits yet. I don't really show my true personality on my Instagram page because no one's gonna get it. No one's gonna get it in you. So we're just gonna put some eye cream and you can put on your ring finger, just like that. This is the 3W Clinic Snail Eye Cream Anti-Wrinkle. It says, happiness is feeling cool, calm, and uplifted. Yes, girl. That's what I want to feel. So I'm going to look at the viewfinder because I'm using both of my hands and I don't have a nearby mirror. You you have to use your ring finger. Ashen, this is the gentlest on your eyes. And I use the Revital Lift. Can you even see that? You can't see that. You can't see that. Anywho, this is the Revitalift by L'Oreal. I've been using this for a few good months, like six months now. Oh, this is not it. Sorry. This is the scrub that I use. Here. Sorry, I found the right one. Again, I'm going to use my the viewfinder as my mirror because I... I don't know, it's just the lighting here is awesome. But you can also see how weird my face looks. So I'm gonna use a decent amount because my face is really dry, it gets really dry in the summer. Um, especially here, I need to exfoliate. Anywho, I have combination skin, so when you're putting on, you know, I'm not supposed to do like that, I'm supposed to do like that, but I was just nervous because it's my first time filming. Anywho, so when you're doing your neck, you need to like go like upwards, not downwards, because we don't want any premature wrinkles. Our life troubles are already doing that for us. So yeah, like that, 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 and you're good to go. You are good to go. All right, let's do with brows. Let's start with brows. Do with brows. Sorry, you guys. I'm having a hard time. All right, please um, excuse my unkept brows. Yeah, anywho. Since they're kind of full at the moment, so I don't really need to do a lot in that section. Oh man, it's so weird. So we're just gonna grab a brush and I'm just gonna comb them through. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> we're just gonna comb in through and I'm gonna fill in just the tail of my brow using some brow powder. I can change it up. Sometimes I can use pencil, sometimes I can use a pomade, you know, whatever I'm in the mood for. I just do like two of, like I use the Body Shop uh, brow powder. I've had this like for eons, eons, huh? And I use the brow and the dark shade that's next to it and I just fill in gently. I just don't want it to feel like it's empty. You see that? You see the the difference that we just made? And you just, I do like that. I just dip in between the two of them and I remove the excess and I just fill in gently. Uh, my brow tail, I call it the tail. I don't know if it's called tail or not, but it's a tail for me. And yes, they're very much unkept. 
I'm trying to grow them out, give them their full potential. But you know, they're, it's not really happening. Ooh, I'm out of focus again. Have to take care of these things. So now they're full, they're bam, in your face. That's exactly what I want for today's look. Uh, and then when you comb through, it looks more natural. After that, we're going to put some lip balm. I'm using, this was a gift. It is um, Oriflame the One Care Lip Balm. Sorry guys, I just had dinner. I'm still digesting. And you, uh, it's the One. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, whatever. And you, uh, this is just my go-to lip balm for now because it's cheap and it's affordable, blah, blah, blah. So now we're going to move on to eyes. I usually start with eyes. I'm using the Kiko Smart Concealer Palette. As a makeup artist, I always try to get palettes. We're just gonna take a brush and pack it with concealer and we're just going to go in with and cover and pack it on. And you see it has great coverage. We're just gonna take some of that and we're just going to really get in there. Just be gentle, don't go too hard on that. And at the same time, you try to shape your brows. That's what I do. It's not what I always do with clients. My routine is different because it's different when you're working on someone else. Like I know my face better than anyone else. So, And then I'm gonna use today my Deborah Perfect um, that dress me perfect loose powder this is just an affordable everyday loose powder if you wear makeup every day which i don't recommend you can like you do you boo but i just like to give my skin a break so and here we're just gonna grab like a small tiny brush and we are just going to set that i don't i feel like i don't need a primer with this one so i'm just gonna use the powder and i'm going to set it with just a, t a little bit amount of powder just make sure you get everything. We're just full coverage, baby. Just don't use too much. This is the Morphe um, eyeshadow palette, Night Master 15N, and it looks so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. It looks so nice. These are the colors. I'm gonna use like a combination of these browns and this super beautiful gold. Got this. All right, so we're gonna grab Selfie here and we're gonna use this as a transition shade. We're just gonna grab some on and I'm just gonna go in like that. I'm starting at my crease, just like that. I need some music or something. How do you guys usually get ready? I like to put some music on. And you know, things are just so like easy. So this is pretty heavy stuff. So I'm just going in our crease. And I feel like if it's already heavy, I don't need to go overboard and use an even heavier color. Like I just use it in my outer corner. All right, so we're just gonna go in nice and easy and make sure we get the entire depth of the eye so it's gonna look something like this so it's like nice warm base to work with <clears throat> mm, I think I'm gonna grab editorial for like a change and then I'm gonna grab this like compact side and I'm just going to build it in to smoke it out just the outer corner and I like I'm not gonna exceed the eye here I'm just gonna place it here and this compact side gonna do the same this is like super easy I don't like to do complicated eye looks because I feel like it beats the concept of everything so we're just gonna we're just gonna place it here smoke it out just like that just like that right, and we're just gonna make sure it's all blended it looks really good it looks really nice it's nice and dark excuse my finger because this is a chunky formula and I feel like the best is with your finger damn you see that you guys 
I love that so much. Again, this is not how I do makeup on my clients. This is just me because I know my face and this is just how I get ready. And Morphe, Morphe really came through with this palette. It's so beautiful and it's so metallic, so shiny, so gorge in your face. This is the shades unique. Shade unique in this palette. This is this one. And it looks really beautiful. And we're just gonna grab a brush and just make sure we have every part of it, you know, like that. We don't wanna do like a cut crease, but this is how I do. This is how I work. Then we're gonna grab the fluffy side and you're just gonna do that, make sure it's blended. We're just gonna grab a tutorial again and you're just gonna blend it in there. Just like that. We're just gonna grab this side and we're gonna blend this. I don't want any harsh lines, but I like how we're gonna grab selfie and we're just gonna go over that again. Go. It looks kind of weird on camera, honestly, but it looks really nice in real life. Anywho, then we're just gonna do like a super wing liner. And I'm using the Maceline Dramatic Water Eyeliner, waterproof eyeliner. My MAC uh, 209 because this brush that comes with this eyeliner is horrible it's really thick and really just not doing it it's not doing it for me so we are going to grab some eyeliner from the brush just like that I'm gonna go like that my cat is trying to climb my wardrobe right now <laughs> all right so we look so beautiful in real life just my lighting is weird and we're just gonna draw in my eyeliner. Uh, I did mascara. I used the Paradise Ecstatic by L'Oreal. And this mascara is amazing. I love it. So as you noticed, I have very dark eye, uh, under eye circles. So I'm gonna use my Holy Grail, the LA Pro Conceal. I love this stuff so much. So we're just gonna grab this palette. Again, I'm gonna use my viewfinder or I'm just gonna use this mirror here from the Morphe palette. And we're just gonna grab some concealer just like that. Gonna use a decent amount under all that just all my areas that I think it's just slightly like I have this area here under eye circles I mean like all this is just you know just me having fun and I'm gonna grab my baby sponge by Real Techniques and I'm going to grab this flat side and I'm just going to blend that through like that I know I look a little bit crazy but it's okay all right done primer we are using the prime and fine pore refining anti shine base and we're just going to grab some of that here and so, alrighty then. After we are primed and are did as much pore filling as humanely possible, and I am going to use the LA Girl Nude Beige. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage uh, HD High Definition Long Wearing Illuminating Foundation. So we're just gonna grab some on my hand. This is in a shade nude beige. I think this is like a slightly darker shade or it kind of oxidizes to become darker. So we're just gonna grab some on my hand and you're gonna grab your beauty blender. I'm gonna use this flat side here. It's gonna grab this mirror and we're just gonna start dabbing it. We're gonna start with, with the largest surface area which is it's a really nice shade. It's a really nice match. So 
it's very it's not it's like full coverage but i don't like the full coverage look on me i like a medium coverage so i don't always go full coverage honestly it's really nice it's very nice i actually enjoy this foundation a lot And man, it's gorgeous. It almost covered it, but not really, so. It's like a mask. <laughs> really going in there. I like to keep coverage low on my forehead. I don't really have a lot to cover there. It's pretty uniform. I don't need a lot. But it tends to look kind of textured, and I don't like that. So we're just doing the face, just making sure we get everything there. This looks, this looks really good so far. And then we're just going to add more because I finished all of it. We're just going to put a tiny tap more and we're just going to grab this brush. I like to use a brush on my neck because it's just faster. I just don't have to drag a lot. This kind of oxidizes a bit into my shade exactly. So again, I'm just going to use this brush. Definitely, uh, like for my whole face, I need like a one decent pump. We're just not going to try to mess my dress because it's expensive, y'all. Actually, no, it's not. It's actually H&M, so... And then we're just gonna make sure it's all looking flawless by pressing it into our skin. Literally, they call it to beat it into your skin. We just want it to look as flawless as possible using the Deborah, Deborah, I'm totally butchering that name. Milano Secrets of Contouring, the Duo Contour and Highlight. We're just going to contour with that. According to how I want. This is how I contour you guys. I like this shade a lot, so it's nice. We're just gonna use this brush because I'm lazy. And I'm kind of in a hurry, you guys. You see how easily that blended? It's gorgeous, and I feel like I'm not in focus. All right, that's way better. All right, um, we're just gonna dab it in, just like that. So it'll make my chin more pronounced. damn love it love these sticks they're so good and their color it's not too muddy it's not too much you should always like blend upwards not downwards see that creating that cheekbone effect so nice blush that is in cream i'm using cream everything today like that it looks it's really nice again we're gonna grab the same brush and we're just blending that in we're gonna grab the medium lasting finish 25 breathable concealer by Rimmel I'm just gonna grab some here and we're just gonna create this V just like that and then it's exactly like the shade of my cons of my foundation just slightly slightly just lighter and we're just gonna start from the bottom and we're just gonna dab that and then you're gonna work your way upwards see oh, this looks like magic downwards making sure flawless finish we're talking about flawless here and then we're just gonna work our way downwards. 
Oh man, I got foundation everywhere. We're gonna bake. We're gonna grab some powder on my little um, sponge and we're just gonna set it first like that. We're just gonna set it like so. And then after we set it, we're just gonna grab a large amount of powder and we're just gonna bake with it. And we are going to set our faces. I forgot to highlight my brow bone. We're just going to grab this thick brush and we're just going to use it to highlight. It's a very soft highlight. But it kind of works. that we're just gonna bronze up all this area here it's exactly what this look needs right now it's just more of like a bronzed look uh, a really simple blush from golden rose we're just gonna use like a peach tone blush like that We're gonna blend it in with our contour so it looks really nice. Again, lighting is really weird so I just have to respect that. I feel like this eye is being left out from all the powder. And then we're just gonna grab some powder and we're just gonna contour this area here with my little baby, baby sponge. And you're just going to create this area here. Just like that. I kind of overdid it with the blush here, so please excuse me. Well, first I have to remove um, my bake here. It looks so nice. And our bake here it looks really crazy. Anywho. Ta -da. All right, then we're gonna grab one of, we're gonna grab a highlighting brush and we're just going to highlight using this eyeshadow. It's a very like soft, beautiful, damn. Looks really flawless to be honest. The lighting is so not helping me here. All right, I need to really improve my lighting. We're gonna grab Selfie, which is in our crease. And we are just going to blend that in. No, I want Selfie. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. Battery just died on me. So, after we'd done our highlight, looking flawless, we were um, doing smoking out the slower lash here. And then, and then I kind of wanted to smoke out. We're gonna grab the Colossal Maybelline and we're just going in our waterline. After that, looks really nice, honestly. We are going to grab this uh, Deborah Milano in the shade 03 and we're going to outline 
my lips slightly. Because your girl has baby lips. Damn. All right, after that, we're going to grab a, le a red. I literally cannot talk right now. After that, we're just going to close this area here. Excuse the mess at the back. Um, I'm trying to get married in Egypt, so you can imagine how my life is right now. Alright, after that, we're gonna grab. We're just gonna use this red, gorgeous red lipstick. Damn, so pigmented. Damn, that's bright, girl. That is so bright. I need to find a look. That's my cat going insane. Thank you, Oscar. Then we're just gonna grab our fingers and we're just gonna dab in just to give a nice glow on the cheeks. Yes. Use our NYX matte finish. Mm. Damn, I'm feeling myself. So here's the final look. I'm not gonna use any lashes or anything. I like to use like natural. I like to be natural. Uh, believe it or not. And here's the final look, you guys. I hope you like it. I will try to post some pictures because the lighting is really weird. I'm trying to fix it. Uh, it is my first video, so uh, please tell me your feedback. Lighting, yes, got it. Need to fix, but overall, I think it looks really nice. I think I just need to adjust the lighting a bit. It's really easy going. There's no there's nothing about it. It's just very much easy going. Yeah.